Hey guys, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be making a cook with me video So I'm going to be making a recipe in front of you all and sharing my tips and tricks with you along the way And today we're going to be making a healthy Snickers inspired banana ice cream parfait So you'll definitely want to watch this and I apologize for the slightly weird camera angle and the fact that I'm filming in my bedroom But I have horrible lighting in my kitchen So I just set up my food processor on my desk and we're gonna see how this works out. All right, let's go Okay, so we're going to be making a peanut butter and chocolate nice cream base So that's what we're going to get started on right now The first thing I have I have two tablespoons of powdered peanut butter here And then I have two teaspoons of cacao powder You could also use cocoa powder if you don't have cacao powder So the first thing I'm going to do is add a third of a cup of water to this And then I'm going to mix it up until it's an even mixture and I find that when you're using powders with banana ice cream or with smoothie bowls it's just a lot more helpful to dissolve them in water first and it seems to create a fluffier texture at the end so it's not completely mixed in but it's good enough the cacao powder always tends to stick so I'm just gonna let this sort of soak I guess and then I'm going to pull up my frozen bananas. I store my bananas in halves and then just put them into freezer safe Ziploc bags because that's what's easiest for me. But I always chop them up before I put them in the food processor because I find that it makes the process a little faster. So for this recipe, we're going to be using three whole frozen bananas. So I'm just going to chop those up right now. So as I chop them up, I'm just going to be tossing them into the food processor. And actually, recently I've discovered that I think there is a sweet spot for freezing bananas. Because everybody always talks about how you should never eat a banana that is not brown and spotty. Because then it's not fully ripe and it's a lot harder to digest. But also, I think if you're freezing bananas, you can't let them get too brown because my last big batch of bananas I waited a little bit too long and the bananas were like completely brown on the outside like you know when they're good for banana bread like when they're about to turn into like applesauce consistency that's what they were like so I had a freezer bag full of those and when I was making smoothie bowls and banana ice cream the texture was a lot more icy and it wasn't as fluffy so you definitely want your bananas to be ripe so make sure they're brown and spotty but at the same time don't let them go too far but yeah okay so I put the bananas in so then now what I'm going to do I'm going to process this in the food processor until it sort of sticks to the sides and the blades not chopping anything anymore and then I'm going to add this liquid in and blend it until it's a uniform whipped consistency all right I'm probably just gonna speed this part up because it can take a while And I'm just I'm just gonna use the spatula to scrape down the sides like you can see that and push it back down towards the blade then I'm gonna pour this liquid in and make sure I get it all All right, and then just gonna blend this till it's smooth. Okay, that looks about good. As you can see, that's what it looks like. So I'm going to be making the parfait in this cup. It's just a, it's just a glass cup using my spatula to scoop it in and I'm going to be layering it with some molasses you don't have to use this if you don't want to but I think it's gonna make a nice picture because it's a darker color and then I'm going to be using some of my salted caramel sauce you can actually get the recipe for this in my smoothie ebook there's a link in the down bar um, I don't exactly remember what's in it to be honest but if you don't want to make this and you don't want to buy the book, you can make like a date caramel sauce. There's a lot of recipes online for that as well. And then I'm also going to be using some chia seeds that I have. They're white chia seeds. 
and I have some coconut flakes that I might use. And then I have these carob covered peanuts. I think I'm going to chop some of those up and add them as layers as well. Actually, I'm going to do that right now. So when I layer my smoothies, I don't have like an exact set plan. I just kind of go with the flow. And I think I might try to swirl this one, but I think you guys can see it pretty clearly. So I'll probably just time lapse it because I'm not sure how long it's gonna take me. I feel like that's better for you guys to see. So I'll use the red book. Okay, and that's it. So here's the finished product. Got all my layers and yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it, but I'm gonna quickly snap a picture for Instagram before it melts and that's it. It's actually more simple than you think and I think like decorating practice skills come with time um but yeah if you guys want me to film more videos like this or if you want me to try my hand at a mukbang or mukbang i think i'm not exactly sure let me know and thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed i'll see you in my next video bye